Oh, that, that was a jump scare I missed last time. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Creepy Shift Roadside Diner. So, we're getting back in the game today because we're going to try and see if we can get a better score. Last time we got a B, and we didn't even know that there was a scoring system, so... The one thing I it was <clears throat> the one thing I need to figure out is when that delivery comes in, because that's in storing the stuff in the restaurant is actually uh, of a it's kind of worth a lot of points it seems. Before midnight struck, I lit up one night. Got to keep I track of our sponges this time. Two installments of the loan that had tied my hand. Okay, first thing I want to see is if I have to close the blinds in here. I do. We missed those last time. Okay. Okay. So let's get all of these things situated real quick. Because I'm pretty sure our time doesn't actually start yet. Because I don't even have the ability to look at the rules, so... Might as well do what we can before we need to worry about anything, right? So there's probably strats. The, somebody in the Discord server already got a triple S. And I learned something about these products here. Don't throw them into the building. So there's another YouTuber by the name of Special D. He's an up-and-coming YouTuber. You should actually really check him out. He's got a really good commentary style. Uh, he's sitting at just over 100 subs right now, but honestly, his channel will be one of the ones that takes off, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he does play uh, indie horror games like this, so if that's something that you're interested in, should probably check out his channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But what he did is when the deliveries came in, he grabbed them off the porch and threw them into the kitchen, which is exactly what I was planning on doing. Just toss, 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 and then grab and put them on the shelves, right? Well, these crates and things that the products come in are destructible. So he was throwing everything in, and then he had like 400,000 apples on the floor. And it was hilarious and sad at the same time. Oh my god. I'm horrible. Oh my god, what did I what have I done? Uh don't let yeah, okay, so the rules are the same. Okay, let's go. See this part of the game is easy before everything kicks off, but once we have to avoid uh everyone else. Um so there's also been a few adjustments to the game. Um they fixed some of the things that the players have reported. Uh, they also, the lady that comes and eats your face off, they, um, increase the red glow around her, apparently. People were having trouble not knowing that she was around and running into her. Um, as you know from our original video, uh, we, we lucked out with Spooky Ghost Lady, uh, where we really only encountered her twice, and for some reason I was able to see her, like, immediately. Um... Oh, I was also told I should probably increase my gamma, because when the lights in the diner go out, people were having trouble seeing the footage, so... Uh, let me bust this last table, and we'll do that real quick. Okay, uh... Gamma... Do I have... Oh, brightness is... Starts off all the way up, guys. There's nothing I can do about that, sorry. Okay, I still think the best time-effective way of doing the dishes is to bring all the trays in. So I'm not running back and forth into the diner uh, when we get into really spooky time. So we're, we're going to grab all of them. And then we're going to check to see if that delivery has arrived. Because if the delivery is here, we'll start running the delivery already. I think it's uh, that's one of the more heavy-hitting items for points. Comparatively to like doing the tables and the chairs and everything. All right, uh, let's get to wiping everything down. Got my sponges. I gotta keep track of these this time. I lost them last time, and once, once they're gone, you can't, you can't wipe down anything, which is a big money getter because the diner gets absolutely destroyed. Um, and I, I know they were somewhere in the diner. I, I saw them when I was editing my video. I, I knew exactly where I had dropped them, but while I was playing, I had no idea where they'd gone. And that absolutely removed my ability to do any kind of wiping down. 
So from now, um, as long as nothing spooky is happening, I'm going to throw them back in the sink when I'm done using them. Of course, I was actually keeping track of them when spooky things weren't happening. It was when the spooky spooky was happening that I lost track. But, this time, I've got the advantage of knowing exactly what's going to happen and in what sequence, so nothing is really going to be super surprising. Um, thanks to Special D's video, I also know the limits of some of the things. My man's left the front door open for like 15 minutes. Now, those limits could have changed because, you know, the game's been updated as I mentioned. But, we'll see. Don't you dare. Mop. If you, ah, yeah. If you pay attention, you can hear when the jukebox starts going because it's uh, well, it's a record playing jukebox, so it makes a lot of noise when it starts moving. Okay, so are we at the point in the night where the jukebox just starts going insane? I think so, yeah, because it's moving again. You hear it? And look, it's gonna go again. See, it's yellow. That means it's selecting the disc. So eventually it's gonna go down the hallway. Yep, okay, gotta go chase after it. No delivery out here. I don't know why I came all the way to the back door when I have the key for the front this time, but... Stop it. There's supposed to be a spooky ghost here, from what I was told, and I missed her last time. Still didn't see her. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, my floor! Uh, Let's take out some of the trash. That's something we didn't do last time. Okay, so we can open this. Alright, or you can close that. And let's run all the trash bags straight to the door for now. Well, I'm assuming at some point I'm going to generate more trash bags. Do, 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 do. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the trash bags straight to the door, then we're going to toss them outside. Hopefully we can finish this before we get yeeted into the office. Oh man, are you kidding me? Ugh. Sir, can you please hold on to your candle while I take out this bag of trash? Yep, the delivery's here. Okay. Close that. Hey, crap! I don't know, the back door's closed. I like how it teleports me with my garbage bag whenever that happens, too. That's hilarious to me. Oh, I am gonna generate more trash to take out, you know why? <clears throat> because each of these boxes is gonna need to be uh, taken out. I'm trying not to break them like the other guy did, but... Like, it's not easy. Don't like having the door open. Don't like having the door open. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Thought I heard the jukebox for a second. Oh, wrong. Hi, Pastor. Uh, what? Oh no, I 
have broken some of them. No! Okay, here we go. This one stayed together. Alright, over... Ugh. Over here, at least we have the counter to gently put everything down on. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Ah, oh, crap. I'll be sad if I die, especially considering how long what's his name left the door open for. And he left the front door open. Like, you would think that would be the worst one. Close. Okay. Ah! Pastor, I'm trying to stock the garlic. Where's your candle? Why is it on the floor? You should take better care of this. I'm pretty sure that one thing of apples that landed upside down is a lost cause. Oh no, it's fine. And it's not apples, it's soda. Same thing. Okay. I got some barbecue sauce here. Okay. And then we got more sugar. Okay. Uh, yep, uh, we generated a trash bag. Yes! What time are we at? 359. Ah! Where's the candle? Where's the candle? Oh, is this where the spooky girl has the candle in the base? Crap. She's in the dining room. Does time pass in this sequence? I don't think so. Where's my mop? Actually, I should probably go talk to her, because the pastor doesn't have his candle right now. Hi. Oh, I still have the mop. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that y'all are trying to be spooky, but I have a diner to take care of. Uh-oh. I've bugged the game. I can't put the mop down. Dev. Dev. The problem. this oh that's the exit sign okay hi push this down oh for a second I could put the mop down oh I can't okay now I can grab it 
Give me the mop. Give me the mop. Can we mop this up? Nope. Hi. Okay. Okay, so I couldn't pick up the pastor's sermon because I had the mop in my hand. Luckily, it wasn't required. Uh, where's the normal door? There it is. Okay. What are these barrels that came in? Okay, I don't have to worry about those apparently. Okay, that's basement. Hua. Close this so we don't have two doors open. I think we're just gonna take care of the diner. There's just so many shipments that need to be sorted there. But I could just also clean up all of this constantly. Gotta watch out for the spooky lady, and the pastor, and the jukebox. And we're down a mop now, I think. Oh. Hi, jukebox. Chill. 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 I'll be reporting that little bug to the, to the dev, the thing with the mop, preventing me from picking up the sermon. That would be a... It'd be a little sad to miss that little bit of storyline, that's why, if this is your first playthrough, you know? Oh, fuck. Oh, that was a jump scare I missed last time. What you guys did to my freaking counters, man. What the fuck? I wasn't expecting to find so many new and exciting jump stairs that I missed the first playthrough.
Whoa. She's the one I gotta watch out for. She's actually dangerous. Oh. Oop, 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 oop. Hide, hide, hide. This mop is trying to kill me. Oh. Get the locker! Man, she is active this playthrough, huh? Ooh. I have to get the jukebox, lady. Get out of here. So is this like an auxiliary dining room or something? Or is this a pocket universe of diner that she has created for her own nefarious purposes? I like to think that this is like the event space at the back that they don't talk about unless you, re you like reserve it, like for weddings and stuff. Because a diner in New Mexico is exactly where you should have your destination wedding, you know. Oh, I should have thrown more boxes down here. Okay, so we already know that this is the end game. So we're about to get our score.
All right, let's see how we did. Oh, I thought I glitched it and the door was still open. Taking this with me. Oh, actually, I'll leave it. All right, let's see. Nice! Double S. I don't know what the maximum score in this game is, but $287 is me going at full tilt with full brain power. So, um, if anyone can beat that, Special D, if you can beat that, go ahead. We'll see. We'll see who gets the higher score. Alright, that's the end of this run. Uh, this, this game has been great. I can't wait to see what this develop, developer does next. I'll go ahead and report that issue with the mop. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.